it's spawned in the world right next to where I decided to build my castle so this is all already here I didn't build any of this oh well there's a couple of things they had villages in but they all got killed so I had to cure zombie villages and transform blah, transport them back and now I've got quite a lot of villages yeah, that little thing there without the roof, I, I built that originally to house a few more villages, but then and that was there as well and that farm, but I think that's pretty much it as far as what was originally here <coughs> I've put in all these steps because it was annoying I have to jump up and down thing So I think now we're going to go and have a look at... No, that was originally there as well. You can tell because it's... Right, so here's part of the town. Oh, no, what is it next? Horses. This is my stables. Sorry, I really can't remember what I did. At what point? I know I've tried to show everything, but... So yes, horses. That's my best horse with the diamond armour named after the witch's horse because I'm reading the witch books at the moment I didn't name all the horses I don't think and there's also a donkey with that's his name, donkey clearly my first horse, I think I found my first horse there he is, Trevor Peterson <coughs> Why I called him Trevor Peterson, I don't know, but I did. Oh yes, I had to put a lightning rod on there because lightning kept striking it and taking it on fire. So lightning rod protects it. So now I'm finally going to show you around. These are all the stuff I built the town. houses isn't I'm not going to show you inside the houses because there's not loads of stuff it's just like beds and things the more beds you've got the more villages appear these are shops I think I did show you did I maybe I didn't more houses and stuff oh no, these are shops or maybe they were all shops I don't know so there's shops with a room the back. The villagers do kind of get in the way. They keep shutting doors on you, or if you try to open a door, you're actually talking to a villager. So, oh, I've, yeah, I've walled off my entire town and I've lit half the place. You might see lots of torches and street lights. Oh, there's another torch I like to set put up. So these are all rooms with beds in. So yes, the street lights and stuff, you, you need lighting because monsters can spawn on any unlit square. So if you light the whole area, monsters can't spawn inside. So coming up to my big farm, which is easier to see from the back. I don't know why I built that, that's huge. Never going to need all that food, but it gives the, the farmers something to do. A load of random llamas from wandering traders, uh, you tend to get a lot of those. Eating my fish. I need some more houses at the back. And then these are the posh houses I call them because they're made out of polished granite with nice white floors and stuff. Sea views. As you can you can see the wall I've put up around everything. Ah, it's almost like I decided to show you the walls 
last one I actually did the video. <coughs> Say, there's lots of houses. Oh, this is these are kind of some apartment type things I built into the bit of mountain. Nice, we've got a nice balcony there. Oh, there's a magical effect on me. You can probably see that's because of my conduits just above here. I'll put it on top of the mountain. Yeah, I think I was trying to show it to you. You can just about see the line going up. I don't think I've did I bother? No, I didn't bother going to the conjure. You know what a conjure looks like anyway. That was my first attempt at a well. It doesn't look great. And here's another farm. As well as giving farmers something to do, the farmers then distribute food amongst the villages. So I've got lots of chickens, lots of pigs. There's one with a saddle. Yeah, there's a saddle. You get a trophy for riding a pig with a saddle off, off a height. <laughs> There's my other um, iron golem that I built. They wander around town and kill any errant monsters that actually do get in. Not that many do, but... This is my bee's nest. My bee's nest you can find, they generate naturally. And then if you've got... Uh, I was harvesting some honeycomb there. If you've got a tool with silk touch, you can get the whole bee's nest and relocate it and it doesn't get destroyed. I don't know why I decided to harvest the... Yes, it's up there somewhere. Good. <clears throat> okay. At some point, I might be able to get good at actually editing video. And I could have taken this out, but... Took me long enough to figure out how to do the audio track. There you go, there's my uh, honeycomb. There's the flowers I put for the bees. I think I stayed to see if the bees come out because bees are cool. Or maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. I got bored. Okay. So just up above here is going through more of the village. I built this. This is the second thing that I built. I used to call it my mountain retreat because it seemed like a long way from my castle, but it's not really. Back in the early days when I used to get lost just coming out this far. But I built this as like a sort of waypoint. And then I've slightly modified it since. Oh, baby villager. More beds in there for some villagers. Nice picture window. Yes, baby villager. That's the thing, you put a lot of beds down and the villagers get busy <laughs> and uh, make baby villages. This was my kind of work station place away from home. And then I did a couple of bedrooms, all just, you know, mined out of the mountain rather than anything else. This is my bedroom. You can see the town there, although there's a better view in a minute. Next, if it gets cold up here, you get snow and stuff up this high. And it's getting dark, which is actually probably a good time to look out at the town. So there's various mountains here, and then you can see the mansion over there. That will be in part two, or the second video. So that was my, I don't know what you call it now, I'd say it used to be mountain retreat, but I 
think I might decide to have a sleep now. Doesn't really matter because I would say it's all safe. This town, no monsters can spawn here. That is my factory, I call it. I just wanted to build something because they introduced um, amethyst and copper. I had to go and find amethyst and copper. I just wanted to build something. So it's an amethyst house with a copper roof. Lit by sea lanterns. And yeah, there's lots of stuff for villagers to do in there as well. Important to give them jobs. Oh, there was a skeleton outside the walls. Far yeah, is that me? Didn't notice that, I don't think. Frog. They introduced frogs not that long ago, and now I've got loads of frogs everywhere. <clears throat> so that was, that's the town. See, this is why I didn't go in all the houses, they're not that. Oh no, I'm having sleep. So, that's getting towards the end of the first video. I think. I think I'm just popping. Oh no, I've got, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you the tree house finally. Cause Possibly the last thing that I built. Oh, on my cows. Some cows in there. This is the railway station. I won't show you that till video two. That takes you to the mansion. So this tree house I built, and I just put vines on the outside of it, and they've all grown down to the ground, which is pretty cool. It's not, there's not a lot in here. I just felt like building a tree house. Vines are growing over the windows, but I quite like that. It's got a bed and some stuff and a few bookshelves. I've got a lot of bookshelves. And then there's another observation deck style thing up here. Where you can look out on the countryside. They're the ones you can cure with stuff. Golden apple and a splash potion of weakness if you need to know. Oh, I think I might have showed you. Did I? No. I was going to show you the outside of the bridge just because it's cool, but maybe not. I think that's it for video one. Castle and town and stuff. Yep. So, stay tuned. Video two. It's exciting as this has been.